This video was produced from the organization of eight slides that will be presented. We will read what is written and the description of the images as well as the translation of the written text into the sign language. First slide. In large letters, centralized black ink is written. Global report organized by the World Federation of Deafblind and Sense International. One line below, in centralized black ink, is written at risk of exclusion from the implementation of CRPD and CDGs. On the next line, with red capital letters, is written people with deaf blindness and education. Second slide, on the top centralized and the color red is written. Children with deaf blindness are statistically less likely to attend school than children without disabilities. Two lines down to the left is a color photograph of a classroom seen from the background. It is possible to see a woman standing facing the students, possibly the teacher. She is positioned in front of a green board. Several students are sitting with their classes and facing her. All of them appear on their backs and with one of their hands raised they are boys and girls. On the right side, in justified black ink, is written These children between 5 and 17 who are not enrolled, it's less likely that children with deaf blindness have been enrolled before than children without disabilities. Third slide. On the top left, in red ink centered, it says Educational situation of children 5, 17 years old with deaf blindness, children with other disabilities, and children without disabilities. Below is a graph. Vertically, the prevalence is written and the numbers in percentage 0%, 20%, and 120%. On the horizontal line are written names of the nine countries that presented data. Sudan, Mexico, USA, Indonesia, Ghana, Vietnam, Tanzania, South Africa, and Brazil. We highlight the data from Brazil which show that people with deaf blindness from 5 to 17 years old are 8% enrolled in schools. People with other disabilities are also 80% and people without disabilities are more than 80%. US data show that people from 5 to 17 years with deaf blindness are over 90% enrolled in schools. People with other disabilities are over 95% and people without disabilities almost 100%. On the bottom, in black centralized ink is written, children with deaf blindness are up to 23 times less likely to attend school than children without disabilities and less likely to attend school than children with other disabilities. Fourth is light. On the top left in black ink justified is written, children with deaf blindness who are not in school are less likely to be enrolled than children without disabilities. Below, there is a graph. Vertically, the prevalence is written and the numbers in percentage 0%, 20%, to 100%.
on the horizontal line are written names of the nine countries that presented data. Sudan, Mexico, USA, Indonesia, Ghana, Vietnam, Tanzania, South Africa, and Brazil. We highlighted the data from Brazil, which show that people with deaf blindness who are not in school are 30% less likely to be enrolled, people with other disabilities more than 40%, and people without disabilities almost 8%. U.S. data show that people with deaf blindness who are not in school are almost 50% less likely to be enrolled, people with other disabilities more than 60%, and people without disabilities almost 60%. Fifth slide. On the top part, justified in red, is written. It is important to observe that the evidence from the countries revealed does not provide an indicator of the quality of education received by children with deafblindness. Two lines down on the left in black centered ink is written, since deafblindness in children and young people is rare, many education professionals receive little or no supporting training to work with deafblindness students. On the right side, there is a colorful photograph of several matchsticks together. You can see the top where it lights up. They are all in red, but there is one in green a little higher up standing out. Sixth is light. On the top part, justified in black, is written. Students with deaf blindness are a heterogeneous group, so teaching and learning strategies can vary considerably among individuals. Two lines below, on the left, is a colorful photograph of two young black men. The one on the right wears a white shirt, but it is possible to see only his chest, his smiles and is a visually impaired person by the characteristics of his eyes. On the left is another boy with a blue shirt. He is sitting on his side and facing the other boy. He also smiles. On the right side in centered red ink is written Curiosity. In India there are approximately 55,000 children with deaf blindness enrolled in government inclusive education programs. Seventh slide. On the top part, in centered red ink, is written recommendations. Right below, in centralized black ink, are three topics where it is written. On the first, ensure that the needs of people with deaf blindness are considered in laws, policies and inclusive education programs, that efforts are made to adapt curriculums, train teachers and provide support to students. On the second, ensure the availability of resource centers that support regular schools, children with deaf blindness and their families. On the third, ensure adequate interpreter guide service. Eight is light. On the top part in center red, red ink is written credits. Right below in centralized black ink is written creation and editing by Fernanda Falkowski. Screenplay of the audio description by Fernanda Falkowski. Portuguese translation by Shirley Maia. Portuguese narration by Fernanda Falkowski. A Spanish narration by Ximena Serpa. English translation by Ana Carolina Toledo. English narration by Paulo Mota. Sign language translation by Renan Antonello.